Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Dear friends, we are talking about uh, Article 9, Security of Person, Right to Life. Article 9 says, No person shall be deprived of life or liberty, save in accordance with law. In accordance with law means, in accordance with the existing positive law of the land. It means positive law of Pakistan. To say that law here means law in an abstract or theological sense. It would introduce uncertainty and would leave the quest to individual judgment of what is fair and just one a case to case basis. And uh, about this specific point in accordance with law, it was elaborated in a landmark judgment of 1989 CLC, page 7-9. And 1996, MLD page 493, and PLD 1993, Supreme Court of Pakistan page 341. The notion rule of law is as such embodied and recognized in Article 9, Constitution of Pakistan 1972. 1973 through the phrase under discussion in accordance with law. Now, I feel making room for the application of law is necessary for safeguarding and enforcing the human rights of the members of the society living in Pakistan. And the minute observation of law in action of the state functionaries is made a must by the Article 9 of Constitution of Pakistan 1973. And uh, exercise of power would not be impulsive or arbitrary, as in such a case it would mean a government of men and not a government of laws. The authority given by an enactment should be well defined by it and must not be overriding or affecting the basic rights of the funda that are the fundamental rights of the citizens of Pakistan. And you know, fundamental rights of Pakistan have been safeguarded and right to life and uh, right to the security of, security of, of person has been protected in every constitution 1956 and 1962. And uh, Kishore versus Province of East Pakistan is landmark judgment uh, uh, when Bangladesh was a part of Pakistan, and it was uh, reported by the Supreme Court of Pakistan, PLD 1956, Supreme Court of Pakistan, page 9. There should be some legal backing behind any executive action taken with regard to life and liberty of an individual. In this way, you can say, no executive authority is above the law, but exercising their power under the law. And if it is not the case, the action may be termed as unlawful and therefore not in accordance with law. The factors that determine the taking of action should be legally cognizable and not fanciful because an action taken on the basis of illegal or non-admissible grounds cannot be dropped as in accordance with law because arbitrary actions taken by the executive authorities has always been discussed by the superior courts of Pakistan and about it I feel the Begum Aga Sharosh Kashmiri case is the fundamental and landmarks judgment about this notion. Begum Aga Sharosh Kashmiri case 
was reported, you know, in PLD 1969, Supreme Court of Pakistan, page 14, in the elaboration of surety, surety of the persons and the right to life that has been emphasized in, under the articles uh, in the Constitution of Pakistan at that time, 1962. It is not advisable to enumerate all the principles of the natural justice applicable on a given case. However, there is a duty on every state functionary, our executive, police, every, every state functionary, to abide by relevant rules of the natural justice while discharging their official duties and while taking their official actions. Hamudur Rahman versus Zaki Rahman a landmark judgment has a brief discussion on this and uh, this case was reported in PLD 1965 Supreme Court of Pakistan page 9-0. You know principles of the divine law are considered to be the part and parcel of every enactment. Every law, every constitution always puts their foundation upon the divine law, natural justice. As such, no action affecting the life or liberty of a person should be taken unless he is given a sufficient and reasonable opportunity of hearing and defending him against the proposed action. No one should be condemned on heart. It is the basic doctrine of the natural justice and uh, you know <coughs> government of west pakistan versus uh, muhammad akbar mir case has discussed this notion in a brief aspect and this was reported in pld 1971 supreme court of pakistan page double five no i feel Rule about the absence of bias on the part of adjudicator is also a consideration while interpreting and applying the statutes. And you know, the phrase used in the Constitution of Pakistan dealing with the cases where some action detrimental to the life or liberty is to be taken may be compared with the Indian expression. Indian expression, Indian according to the Indian constitution, except according to procedure established by law, as is used in the article 21 of the Indian constitution. But in Pakistan, it is said that uh, in according to, in accordance with law, as discussed stands on the better footings when compared with the Indian phrase under Article 21. Uh, the Indian phrase did not make scope for the courts to judge whether the lies equitable are in tales fair play. It only checked as to whether the lawgiver was competent to make the law and the law was made in accordance with the applicable mechanism to enforce the law. Well, Manika Gandhi versus the Union of India, a landmark judgment of Indian constitution that was uh, uh, a landmark judgment in Indian constitution that was uh, reported in uh, 1978 all india reported page uh, 597 the phrase except according to the procedure established by law was interpreted by the indian supreme court to the effect that procedure established by law should be right and just and fair and not arbitrary, not fanciful and not oppressive. In Pakistan, you know, right to life under Article 9, Constitution of Pakistan 1973 is the mother right, which is safeguarding, which is giving the opportunity to be available 
to the other rights that has been envisaged in the Constitution of Pakistan 1973 in the chapter 1 fundamental rights and uh, you know it was also a brief discussion has been done in the PLD 1989 Karachi I code page 404 now the right to life in the constitutional and legal framework of Pakistan in a gossip manner I have tried my best to discuss in the history mood if you feel any type of confusion about this you can discuss with me via my whatsapp group via my youtube messenger and others other moves of the social media thank you Allah Hafiz